welcome to the weekend homestead. It's a Sunday morning. It's really quiet, but it's rainy outside. So I think I'm gonna try to get some editing done this morning. Do a couple things for the next uh, couple of live streams. But I figure a nice toasty fire would keep it nice and warm in here on a wet day, so. Now we're back up top. The rain is gone. It's become a nice sunny day today. We're gonna to put these guys out. These are mason bees. I'll show you what they are. We'll head over to the orchard. For those new to the channel, this is the apple orchard. So last year we had such a kill off on the bees. Unfortunately, this box and that box didn't make it. So I only have enough bees to do one this year. My hope is that if we have a strong year for them, I can go back to having multiple boxes again and kind of spread it around. You know, most beehives, you get 30, 40, 50,000 bees in it. You know, in these types of boxes, I might get 100 or 200. Basically, it's a solitary bee that makes a cocoon inside of here and it goes out and collects pollen just like anything else. But instead of living as a colony, they live in as individuals. So the cocoons we're putting out right now are the same ones that we got last fall when we took these apart. So now we're gonna put this out into that box. We'll put the bees up on top and in about a week they'll hatch, start flying around and doing their business. Nice thing is they're really easy to take care of. I just try to keep the pests away from them and they do their whole thing uh, during the summer. Just fly around, pollinate everything. They uh, hatch their own and go from there. Just like so. And the mason bees themselves, they look like this. Little tiny cocoons. I got some leaf cutters in here. I got some masons in here. We're gonna put these guys in and hopefully they made it through the winter. Fairly simple, we just put these in. Up on the top part, they'll hatch out and then crawl to the bottom and start making their homes and doing their deal. The one tricky part about mason bees is you have to take them out of their cocoons in the winter time and store them in your refrigerator. Otherwise, they're susceptible to getting eaten by birds and other uh, predators. So this is it, mason bee house. The bees are right up in there. This is where they do. They land, they go in, and they'll make a little cocoon inside there. And uh, in the process, they'll uh, gather some nectar and some pollen and uh, go out and do the pollinating. But they end up with these little tiny cocoons like the ones inside, right inside there. That's it, those guys will hatch out here in the next couple of days and they'll start going to work. This is our orchard. If you want, at the end of this video, I'll put a link to uh, a little tour of the orchard we did last year, but it looks like a lot of our stuff is starting to bud out and it's gonna look like it's gonna be a pretty good year. You know, this guy here is uh, doing pretty well. This is the one that we replaced last year. It's a, it's a peach tree. So we got some plum trees, uh, some other plums, two pears, two peaches. Everything that way is the uh, apple trees, raspberries, blueberries, and more raspberries, so. Well, that's it for today. It's gonna be a, uh, a wrap on the weekend here. I'll tell you, it, uh, the rain this morning was really nice. Got a little editing time and a little hangout time at the house. Never got to that TV project, but now that it's sunny outside, orchard's looking pretty good. I'm happy to say that all the trees look like they're coming in on the apple side. Uh, the plums are all coming in. Unfortunately, I think we lost the peach trees and the pear trees, so maybe planting some new stuff out on the orchard this year. We'll see. Thanks for following along with me this weekend. I'll catch you guys in the next video.